Every journey requires rest stops. You need to stretch, refuel, and review how far you've come and may still need to go. You should have an opportunity to do just that as you reach the midpoint of a full military career. You can map out the next leg of your journey and get a financial boost with continuation pay, a one-time mid-career payment, like a bonus, available to service members enrolled in the Blended Retirement System, or BRS. Your service will determine the commitment, payment timing, and amount. But in general, most members are eligible between 8 and 12 years of service based on pay entry base date if they agree to perform additional obligated service. How much could you receive? Active duty service members may be eligible for 2.5 to 13 times their monthly basic pay, and members of the National Guard or Reserve in a drilling status may be eligible for 0.5 to 6 times their monthly basic pay. The services base the multiplier on factors such as retention rates, hard to fill positions, and specialty skills. Continuation pay is a great incentive and welcome additional income. How might you spend, save, or invest this money? Just keep in mind that the IRS considers it earned income, so examine the tax implications. This additional income may impact the amount of taxes you owe. See your personal financial manager or personal financial counselor. You can receive this payment in a single payment or reduce its impact on your taxes by receiving it in one payment a year for four years. Tax exclusions will apply for continuation pay that goes into effect when a member is in a combat zone tax exclusion area. One option for using your continuation pay is to invest it in your thrift savings plan. While continuation pay isn't eligible for government matching contributions, it is important to note that the IRS sets annual limits on what you can contribute to tax-deferred savings plans like the TSP. This will include your continuation pay in addition to other special pays, bonuses, and incentives. Keep the annual contribution limit in mind because if you reach it too quickly, you could lose out on some service matching contributions. Another way to use continuation pay, if your income qualifies, is to put it into a traditional or Roth IRA. Both types of accounts feature tax advantages, but the timing differs. Qualifying contributions to a traditional IRA are tax deductible the year you make them, then taxed at withdrawal. Qualifying Roth IRA contributions are taxed up front, but not when they are withdrawn in retirement. The IRS places a combined cap each year on how much you can set aside in IRAs. Other possibilities for continuation pay include paying down debt by making additional or final payments on lines of credit or loans, or setting it aside in a savings account. Do you have an emergency fund? If not, you can take this opportunity to create one or add to what you've already established. Continuation pay gives you many options and you will probably have questions as you consider the best decision for your personal situation and goals. Fortunately, you don't have to look for answers on your own. Remember, help is always available. Call today to receive no-cost, trusted personal financial counseling from an accredited personal financial manager or counselor at your Installation Family Center. To locate services, visit installations.militaryonesource.mil. Select Program or Service on the drop-down menu. Choose Personal Financial Management Services and enter your location. National Guard members can find support through their Family Assistance Center, State Family Program Director, or Unit Leadership. Follow the Office of Financial Readiness on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more resources and tips. And watch for more videos in this series on the Department of Defense Office of Financial Readiness YouTube channel.